All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. This has a lot of emotion to me. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the Explore Scientific 127 Essential ED Refractor. Is this cool or what? Can you see it? I mean, this was really cool. This was the first telescope that was, you know, a significant scope that was hitting the market. It is the lowest cost 5-inch ED refractor on the market. I mean, there's nothing that compares to it in the price range. Triplet refractor, ED corrected uh, triplet refractor here. And what's really nice about this is it has a rack and pinion focuser on here. Look at these gnarly looking teeth. They look like tiger teeth, Arr! Scry you know, screaming at you. But this is what's gonna hold your uh, heavy cameras on the back side here, so that when the telescope's pointed vertically, you got the ability to focus this thing up and down and it not slide back on you. Now typically, Crayford focusers are not so ideal in the mass production level. You know, the cost of doing them is a little bit uh, heavy. So a wonderful alternative is a rack and pinion focuser. There's good and bad examples of both. It doesn't necessarily matter that one is better than the other. There is also a fine focuser on this side here. Check this out. We have this here. There's also a provision here, which I really is so funny on our, people get confused. They don't realize that this little ring unscrews from the back and there are extension tubes so that you can achieve various um, you know focus distances here uh, wherever you need to and you can just put this directly on here or if you want to shoot straight through you can need some more out travel you can just add this adapter on there and then you go ahead and screw the uh, two inch inch and a quarter or um, the two inch compression ring excuse me back on there what's really nice is that Explore Scientific also offers a field flattener. And the field flattener is wonderful because you can attach a Canon or Nikon T-ring and then simply insert it into the back of the telescope. There's also, the scope comes with a little uh, dovetail here to attach a optional uh, finder if you wish. It has these nice handles which are solid. They have the wonderful uh, knobs here that are easy to rotate and tighten to secure the telescope in the tube. And you have the ability to you know, slide the tube forward or backwards to achieve proper balance. There's even a provision here, a slot here. If you want to put like a, a uh, camera on top here or piggyback a camera on top here, you just need a quarter 20 thread here. Comes with a V plate as well. I mean, out of the box, it's a pretty awesome uh, scope and it comes with a, a fantastic um, dielectric diagonal that looks like this one, same thing. And it has the two inch inch and a quarter adapter that comes with it, which is here. And then we just insert that into the back if we want to do our visual observations with it. And we have our wonderful, highly color corrected uh, triplet refractor here for doing observations. Another really cool feature here is this camera angle adjuster. So you take these knobs and you just loosen this screw, which is on this side, I'll show you. There's a screw on this side here that you can loosen and it allows you to move the entire focuser with the camera without having to do anything else. You just move the whole thing uh, along with it. So that's just a wonderful feature that this has. And then you have your, your focus locks here and whatnot so you can adjust the tension so your camera doesn't slide down or anything or your heavy eyepieces don't slide down when the telescope is pointed in a vertical position. So really cool ladies and gentlemen. You know something really special about this uh, telescope is that uh, when Scott Roberts first brought this thing out, he actually brought it to my star party, the first one of the first prototypes. And I had the privilege of looking through it for the first time. And it was really neat because it was, <clears throat> you know, an exciting new thing. And we did an ad campaign for Sky and Telescope. It was wonderful. And uh, maybe one day we'll do that again. I actually think I've compared more refractors than anybody in the world. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. I know I've compared a lot of refractors. It's one of the things that I do. I've even taken samples of the same telescopes and compared them. So I can tell you wholeheartedly from my experiences using telescopes, honestly, this scope for the money is absolutely fantastic. It produces beautiful images and contrast. It has a lifetime warranty. I mean, the service at Explore Scientific is wonderful. If you have any issues or need assistance with anything, you don't hesitate to do so. But just know that the image quality and the contrast that you see visually in these scopes and even photographically is absolutely wonderful. And, um, you know, when you consider the, the low price that they charge for this thing, it's a lot of bang for your buck in an ED refractor. There's just nothing like it on the market. It's just uh, a resounding yes for me if you want my personal opinion as to whether I recommend this telescope. It is absolutely a resounding yes. 
And if you don't believe so, you can see my quote in Sky and Telescope magazine. I think it was from 2012. It said, uh, I basically gave it high notes, um, high, high regard. So um, feel free to call our toll-free number at 888-427-8766 if you have any more questions about this telescope and some of the others that are available. They come in 80 millimeter. They come in 102. We have them in the 5-inch, the, the 127 here. They have the 6-inch, six 6.5-inch. Six they got several different options, and there's even carbon fiber, which is lightweight. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. These are just fabulous. Thanks for watching. Dr. D out.